We're asked in this question to calculate the budgeted net profit for a period when we're told the actual profit was $40,000. That's how much they actually made. And here are all of the variances um, for, for the organization. Now, this looks fairly straightforward, doesn't it? Oh, I have to, difference in actual and net profit, actual profit and budgeted profit, it's just going to be, the difference is going to be these variances. But we're going to have to be careful here. Anytime that a question looks easy, there's probably a trick in it. And the trick here is that we're going to have to work backwards. We're told the actual net profit, which is the bottom figure in a reconciliation statement, and we're asked to work up to the budgeted figure, which is at the top of the statement, which is the, the opposite way round how we normally work. So we're going to have to be careful as we do our calculations here. So this is what a profit statement looks like. You have your budget net profit at the top and your actual net profit at the bottom. I'd normally add any favorable variances like this one, the labor variance, or this one, the sales price variance. I'd normally add those and the sales volume variance too. Normally I'd add those. Oh, look, it's the contribution variance. Must be that they're doing a marginal costing, mustn't it? Normally I'd add those, but because I'm working backwards to work up to get to this budget net profit figure, I'm going to do these the other way around because I'm working backwards. So these are going to be negatives because I'm working from the bottom figure up to the top. And my adverse variances, I'm going to add these to get up to that budget net profit figure. OK, so I've added my two adverse variances to get to 1,600. And I'm going to deduct my three favorable variances. 1,000, 500 and 900. So I'm going to take off 2,400. And that gets me to a budget net profit of 39,200. Now, before I tick this and, and decide it's correct, I just like to look at my variances and go, does it make sense? Well, if my favorable variances, they're the good ones, aren't they? That's good for profit. And the favorable variances are bigger than the adverse ones. So the variances here overall are positive for, for, for my profit. So does that make sense with these numbers? Well, my budget net profit is low and my actual performance turned out to be better than expected, better than budgeted, favorable. And that makes sense because these favorable variances are in total bigger than the adverse ones. So my calculation told me 39,200 and my logic check told me that that seems right. And therefore I'm happy to tick this third option as being correct.